गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन आई एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बेसिकली आई फॉर्मेशन इन द ह्यूमन एम्ब्रायो बिगिंस एट 3 वीक्स ऑफ द एम्ब्रायोनिक डेवलपमेंट cells from both the mesodermal and the ectodermal tissues contribute to the formation of the eye so we know that there are three germ layers in embryo like ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm so the outermost layer is ectoderm the middle layer is mesoderm and the innermost layer is the endoderm so both Uh, outermost layer that is ectoderm and middle layer that is mesoderm contribute to the formation of eye now at around day 22 the eye begins to develop as a pair of optic vesicles on each side of the forebrain so here is the structure here is the forebrain now this is the optic vesicle this is the other optic vesicle so pair of optic vesicles are there and these optic vesicles will form eye later optic vesicles are outgrowing of the brain which make contact with the surface ectoderm and this contact induces changes necessary for further development of the eye so here is the ectoderm layer this is the outermost layer that is surface ectoderm here we have the forebrain and here two optic vesicles are there okay now the distal portion of the optic vesicle distal portion means this portion this portion of the optic vesicle invaginates just like this to form the optic cup so this is called optic cup which will become the retina iris and ciliary body now the optic cup has three parts this is the inner layer this is the outer layer and in between inner and outer layer there is the middle layer so the inner layer of optic cup forms the retina the outer layer of the optic cup forms the retinal pigment epithelium and the middle layer uh, of the optic cup develops into the ciliary body and iris and here is the surrounding mesenchyme so mesenchyme cells are there and the surrounding mesenchyme cells differentiate into the choroid sclera and extraocular muscles okay now the ectoderm begins to thicken and form the lens placode so here is the ectoderm layer and it is getting thickened you can see this is the thick part of ectoderm so it will form lens placode the thick part of ectoderm is lens placode uh lens placode invaginates so it will also invaginate just like this just like this so the lens placode invaginates and forms a pouch referred to as the lens pit so here is our lens pit okay eventually the pit becomes completely enclosed this enclosed structure is the lens vesicle so here we have the lens vesicle now so from lens pit lens vesicle will be formed okay lens vesicle so here is the lens vesicle and here is the lens vesicle now the lens vesicle detaches from the surface ectoderm just like this here we have the surface ectoderm and the lens vesicles will detach from these surface ectodermal layers and they differentiate into lens so here is the lens here is the lens and the lens is necessary to act as an inducer for the ectoderm to transform it into the cornea so from the ectoderm in future cornea will be formed and uh, for that the lens acts as an inducer so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video